The Input Section The Audient Input Pod has three main sections. This section deals with the recording signal, known as the channel path. This section deals with the signal after it has been recorded, known as the tape return path. And this section allows us to meter the signal as it's been recorded and after it has been recorded. The 20 segment meter shows the tape input signal. This is the return signal from the device into the desk after it has been recorded. The three segment meter gives an indication of the mic line signal coming into the desk. Each audience channel strip has a preamplifier which allows you to boost the mic or line signal coming into the desk. The MTR switch allows us to display mic or line signals coming into the desk on the 20 segment meter. Tape input signals would then be displayed on the smaller 3 segment meter. Press the mic line switch to select line input. This switch gives you phantom power for condenser microphones. Always remember to cut the channel or turn the loudspeakers down when turning phantom power on and off. Furthermore, you should remember that when using phantom power, an electrical signal is sent down the microphone cable. Therefore, the channel must be cut or loudspeakers turned down before the microphone is disconnected. This is the polarity or phase reverse switch. Note that it is situated on the channel path. This means that it will reverse the phase on a signal being recorded and not a signal coming back from our recording device. The high pass filter can be used to get rid of any unwanted low frequency noise. Insert points are used to place dynamic processing such as a compressor into a channel path. This insert point places an insert into the recording path. This means the output from your processing device will be recorded and cannot be undone. Therefore, if you are unsure of your processor settings, then you should use the insert on the tape return path. Your settings can then be adjusted after the track has been recorded. The insert points are a convenient way to bypass a processor without having to reach down and find the bypass button on the unit itself. The tape input has a trim control of plus minus 15 dB. This allows you to trim levels which have been recorded too hot. You should always aim to get a good signal to noise ratio on your recording device. This way the tape trim control can be left at 0 dB and will not be needed to boost signals. However, if signals have been recorded too hot, then the tape trim control can be used to reduce signals, giving you a better fader position.